eerie, isn't it? Like some unexplored lunar landscape. Can that man on the moon really have such rugged features? Here's the only monster you're likely to see in this science fiction setting, and already the illusion has been bulldozed aside. Our journey into space has come just as far as Cornwall, where the vast China clay pits at St. Austell are man-made and robot-controlled. 300 pounds per square inch, or if you prefer it, three and a half thousand gallons a minute. That's the sort of power you control from a safe distance, power which explodes the clay from the rock face and sends it cascading down the quarry. Even the miner facing flying stones knows that with this kind of pressure at hand, danger is more than just ankle deep. The experts call this process winning the clay. But what victory has ever been such a complete washout? Rivers of clay become lifelines of industry. Not just for pottery, which takes only a quarter of the total production, but rubber, paint, plastics and textile manufacturers demand this white ingredient. Night and day, the huge dewatering tanks, rotating like giant butter churns, slowly extract the clay. Then, and only then, do the dried particles filter through to emerge as white powder. Just powder, but to a hungry industrial world, it's white gold. Such hard-won treasures of the earth have insatiable markets to be satisfied. Markets that can only be reached by long hauls over land and sea. Our earth has surrendered yet another precious mineral. But why can't we just admire...